everybody welcome back to Richard's toy room for another great video well it depends who's watching I mean if it's some of the people who are on the uh, other side of the fence in the Migo community you're probably hating me right now but oh well at least you're watching not that I get any money for it my, my videos are not monetized but that's besides the point so today what we have is our order I've actually had it for a couple of days and believe believe it or not I <laughs> I've uh, resisted opening it. I've just been busy doing other things. But uh, this is my order from the Mego Underground, Chris Galam. And uh, this is my second order from him. As you can see, it's uh, packed with bubble wrap. So we're going to open it today and see what I got from Mego Wave 7. There should be eight figures in here. As you can see, I'm wearing my Mego t-shirt. Not necessarily an endorsement of Mego Corporation, but I do love me some Migos. And no matter what you want to think about it, uh, I mean, these are true, as true as you're ever going to get. I don't think they'll ever happen again in our lifetime, if, you know, if, if they happen to... Uh, go out of business again, but uh, I don't think they'll ever come back after that. But uh, this is as, as true as you're going to get to having uh, Migos ever again. So I say enjoy what they put out. Buy what you like. Don't just buy like a Migo zombie. You don't have to buy every single thing they put out. You don't have to buy doubles, triples, quadruples. You don't have to have them signed by people who don't mean anything. Just buy the toys you like and enjoy them. Got two uh, horror box pack or shipping boxes here. And bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. All kinds of bubbles. So let's see what we got. First one out of the box is. The Headless Horseman. These are nice cards the way they're doing them now. Um, now, I prefer when uh, this it would have nothing to do with what I'm going to say, but I prefer the old Mego style when they're doing like a series and they had the little circled headshots. I think they should go back to that for some of the uh, the series ones if, if they keep doing stuff like that or waves, whatever you want to call them. And um, so, anyway, this uh, this looks pretty cool. Now, I already did see some reviews of this online. I'm not going to open them on camera right now. I probably will open most of these at some point, but I'm just going to show you what I got and uh, rate my shipment and also uh, my opinion on what uh, Migos put out for this wave. Now, I didn't buy everything from this wave. This is These are the only ones I bought from Wave 7. I was going to buy the Shazam. Well... Let me back that up. I was going to buy the Captain Marvel, because he is the true Captain Marvel, and the Black Adam 14-inch figures. But they decided to uh, postpone or cancel or whatever happened to those. I haven't heard anything more since, uh, since they said it, they were um, not going to be coming out with these 8-inch figures. And um, I didn't buy like the Lord of the Rings. Those didn't appeal to me. I didn't buy the uh, clown from it, and I'm trying to think if there was any other ones that I didn't get. I don't remember how many figures there were, but these, these are the ones I got. Now we've got Elvis in the Jailhouse Rock outfit. He looks a lot more like Kurt Russell playing Elvis than he does Elvis, but. It's still Elvis, and it's still cool. There's a good look at him. And let's see. Uh, we got we got three Star Trek figures here. Uh oh, I'm missing a figure. I didn't get my mummy. 
Uh oh, what's going on, Chris? Where's my mummy? I hope you didn't sell my mummy to somebody else. I'm gonna have to give you uh, demerits for that. Anyway, let's keep going with the video. We've got uh, Captain Spock from The Wrath of Khan Star Trek. He's got the uh, live long and prosper hand and he's got uh, colored silver f uh, movie, supposedly movie accurate phasers and uh, communicators. They look pretty nice. Uh, the phaser looks a little big to me, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Take a look at him. He looks pretty cool. We need to make a Sabic, I think, and maybe some of the other crew. They keep just making Kirk and Spock. It's getting a little uh, monotonous. Wow, number 161. Not that numbers mean anything, but I don't think I've ever had ones that low. Here's uh, Admiral Kirk. The Wrath of Khan. Again, basically the same figure with uh, different uh, insignia on the arm here and which probably indicates him being an admiral, I would assume. Just a couple of different emblems, that's all. And a head, obviously. And we have Khan, Old Khan from The Wrath of Khan. I've heard uh, comments that it looks like B. Arthur. <laughs> and um, I can see where they would say that. But it looks like Khan to me. It's like he has Andorian boots. Or maybe are those round even, I can't remember. Looks pretty good. Nice that they made something different. Another monster, we have the Phantom of the Opera. I already have the one that came out from this a few years ago, which is actually a lot nicer than this. But for the cost and for the line that they're putting out, this is decent and it looks pretty cool. Lon Chaney as the Phantom of the Opera. The hair looks a little weird. It looks a little too thick because it's painted uh, dark. It's, it should be a little maybe more stringy, but besides that, pretty nice. And the last one in the box, which is supposed to be another mummy in here, I'm a little angry about that, is Rocky. And here is, I'm not sure which one this is from, I guess this is from the original Rocky, Rocky number one. I'm sure they probably reused some of the uh, parts from Muhammad Ali in here. But um, yeah, it kind of looks like Sylvester Stallone. The head looks a little squished. I mean, the, the sculpt, but I don't know. Could be just the way I'm looking at it, maybe from through the package, but uh, besides that, it looks pretty decent. So that's what I got. I got seven out of my eight figures. So I don't know what's going on there, Chris, but uh, <laughs> where's my mummy? Whoa, what the? What the hell is this? my mummy. <laughs> now that's quick service. You need to go with me go underground and Chris Galam. Look how fast I got my mummy after it wasn't in my package. I mean that's unbelievable. Oh wait there's something else in here. I, I didn't even order this guy. Holy crap. I got a free figure. Oh my god I got it the clown. Well look at that. And here's the mummy. Let me take a look at this guy. Wow, he is really cool. The face is a little weird, but at least it's not like a copycat of anything that anybody else has put out before. And um, that's nice because you're not like basically buying a figure that you already had. 
So now I've got not only eight figures, I got I got nine figures. And I like them all. So uh, even the it, I was kind of on the fence on him. That's why I didn't order him to, uh, originally, because um, I don't know. It just was. It was like, like I said, it was. I was on the fence with him. But um, thank you, Chris, for sending me him for uh, for the uh, mix up in my order. And I'm hoping that Migos coming out with a Wave Eight. I haven't heard anything yet. Um, still hoping for the Captain Marvel and Shazam. And um, I'll probably end up opening most of these. Uh, I kind of get weird about that sometimes. I'm like, well, they're in the package, and but, you know, I, I, I got to get I got to get past that because I do like them loose displayed. But um, I do have other figures that I bought that I intended on opening that I never did. So you never know what's going to happen. <sighs> anyway, maybe if they got like a clearance sale or something, and I pick up some cheap, then I have. Duplicates, I don't mind opening them so much and have one in the package and one uh, to open and put on display. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm in no hurry. But if I do open them, uh, I'll be sure that I will make a video on, on them and I'll give a detailed review on the actual figure out of the, out of the case. So anyway, thanks for watching and um, I hope you come back for more. Make sure you... Join the Migo Underground. It's a great group. It's uh, it's it's not full of people with agendas and egos and friends that uh, can do no wrong that uh, will rip you off in a heartbeat. And it's uh, a fast-growing group on Facebook. Uh, Chris Galam presents the Migo Underground. I have zero to do with it. I'm not a moderator. I'm not a creator. I have. Nothing to do with the website at all other than joining it and some other friends of mine are in it as well. And um, that's about all I got to say for this video. So stay tuned for more. Next one will probably be a model video. I've got a couple in the can that I just haven't uh, finished up and I got to edit them and all that jazz. So we'll see you later.